Well, I'm 54, and I remember, now I've lived in different parts when I was young, but I did live four years in a suburb of San Francisco, and we rode our bikes and skateboards <clears throat> everywhere. And that was in the 1960s, okay? So, now back then, you got to remember, and I said this on, well, no, I didn't say this on the radio tonight, but I should have. Um, you had, um, when I was a kid, you had uh, black and white TV, you had three stations, and you had to wiggle the ears to get good reception. <laughs> And you had no computers, no DVDs, no other forms of media. There were no video games back then. I mean, what else did we have to do? We were out. Media today is so inviting. It is so exciting. And we can't blame the kids for that. It is fun. I love being on the computer. I can't I can't rem You know, I can't believe I used to type on a typewriter and I had to mess with that messy um, stuff just yeah just to make a copy I mean it is great that we have what we have today but it really is addictive I was on my computer all day long I intended to go outside and do something and I didn't exactly so even us older people understand how inviting the media stuff is today and I think that has an impact um, and, you know, people don't feel like their kids are safe outside like they did back then. And think about it this way. How fast did cars drive back then? You know, were they really that fast? And did we really have as many four lanes back then? Now, I, there was a four lane that, that we were allowed to cross on foot, but not on our um, bikes. But, boy, did we ride our bikes and did all kinds of stuff outside when I was a kid and um, I walked to school when I was young and um, when I was in first grade you know didn't know anything from anything but today it's it is different we do live in a different type of world and we have to really be imaginative about how we're going to get kids moving and it's time management Hard yeah, and it's good you mentioned the safety thing. That was one of the things I was going to say because parents are inordinately worried about safety issues these days. And it's whether you're in a rural environment or urban environment, when we do our focus group studies with some of the parents at our schools and we ask them, you know, how they, what, what barriers they, there might be to getting their children to reduce their screen time to the less than two hours a day, which is what the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends, um, you know, the, some of the responses, I mean, the primary responses that we get are, you know, safety issues, you know, their, their kids can't be outside by themselves or running around the neighborhood on their own. And a lot of the kids are latchkey kids. And when they first get home from school, they don't want their kids outside until the parent gets home because it's not perceived to be safe. And then the other thing is TV is used for babysitting. A lot of kids, especially in the rural um, areas that we've been working in in the Delta, you know, grandparents are picking up these kids, not the parents. Um, and grandparents, you know, and some other caregivers will use TV as a way to keep the kids entertained while they're, you know, confined to the house, while they're getting dinner ready and doing other things. And so, you know, these, these types of issues definitely have an impact. And I'll tell you from our, from our surveys with elementary school kids, they're, unless it's a household where parents have a very almost overly strict rule about TV and screen time where they say, well, we don't even have a TV in our house. There's nobody who meets those two hours a day screen time guidelines. And on average, these kids are reporting like 14 hours a day of screen time, you know, because it was computer, video, you know, TV, everything combined. And, you know, weekdays were just almost as appalling as the weekends. I mean, it, they were still double digit numbers of hours in screen time and then just doubling that on the weekend. So if it was 11 on a weekday, it's 22 on the weekend. So 